Welcome to Walking Reviews for another camera comparison shootout. Right now you're looking at the Galaxy A55 selfie camera versus the Galaxy S24 selfie camera. And right now you're hearing the mics on the A55 and now you're hearing the mics on the S24. And it is starting to rain, which is fantastic. All right, so what you're looking at right now is the rear facing camera quality shooting at 4K 30 frames per second. I haven't got the stabilization on at the moment, but on the default 4K 30, which one seems to be more stable in your opinion? Now we'll switch over to the stabilization mode and let's see how it compares. Okay, so the stabilization is now on and the resolution has changed a bit in this mode. Also, the frame rates will have changed a bit. Um, which one looks the best to you? With maximum stabilization on. Now let's see how these two galaxies compare when it comes to maximum zoom range. Somewhere out there, way back there is Canary Wharf on the north bank of the River Thames. And as you can see, the Galaxy S24 has a max zoom range of 30X and the Galaxy A55 tops out at 10X. So it's definitely a clear win for the S24, but the reality is both of these photos are sadly not that usable, but it's still good to see the capabilities of these phones. And here's a question for you, because I'm genuinely interested to know how useful is long range zoom to you and what would you use it for? And here's one use case. Have you ever used a long range zoom to spot a pizza deal from across the street? And it's times like these where it's definitely useful. Anyway, there's no pizza deals around here, but there is this scrap of paper on the floor with some text on it. And this is what it looks like at 1x. Here it is at 2x and now 5x and at 10x this now gives you an idea of what the usable zoom range really is on these phones and you can also see what an advantage the s24 has with its telephoto camera and the better optics the level of detail on the 10x zoom on the s24 is actually really impressive i actually didn't think it was going to be this good from where i was standing with my eyes i couldn't read it as clear as i'm seeing it here okay so now let's look at some regular photos here's me with my clark kent disguise the latest in geek chic glasses necessitated by endless video edits and questionable life choices like regular eight hour gaming sessions on call of duty but you know time you enjoy wasting was not wasted anyway skin tones look good on both photos the wider angled lens on the a55 is really nice and it makes my face look a little less fat which is definitely a win but the image is a little bit darker than the S24. I do prefer the more vibrant and brighter image there on the Galaxy S24 photo. So it's a little win for both of them in different areas. Let me know what you think about this one. Now here's a portrait photo. This is where the phones use AI edge detection and depth sensing data in some cases to create this blurry background effect. Both phones actually do a good job of this. Edge detection is spot on. I think I do prefer the Galaxy A55 here, surprisingly, even though it's kind of leaning into the blue tones a bit too much and the shadows are slightly darker. But what I really like about this particular photo is the skin tones. They just look a little bit better to me. The S24 does also look good, but the highlights may be a bit too bright. Let me know if you disagree in the comments. All right, now a flower. Every camera comparison should have a flower. And I think if you saw the Galaxy A55 picture before the S24 picture, you'd probably think that it was very good. But the reality is the combination of the better sensor, the better lenses, and the more advanced image signal processing on the S24, what you end up with is this, a better exposed photo with better detail and more realistic colors. And just to give you a closer look at this one, let's zoom in a little bit in post editing so you can get a real idea of the difference in level of detail. And remember this was shot in bright natural light, probably the best conditions for any smartphone. Anyway, now for the Galaxy A55's moment of glory. It has a dedicated macro camera and that's what you're seeing in action here. The S24 picture was actually taken with the telephoto and here you can see a difference in detail using the two different methods. So it does seem like a win for the A55, but there are some disadvantages to macro photography. For example, this photo. 
The fact that I had to get so close to this little wildflower actually blocked out some of the sun and ruined the picture. Whereas on the Galaxy S24, I took the photo from further away and the light was hitting the subject of the photo more evenly. And therefore I ended up with a much better photo here on the S24. And now it's time to enter the shadow realm or to be less dramatic, some night photography on the streets. So I must say I'm impressed with the Galaxy A55 here. It's certainly brighter and just as detailed as the S24. And you can actually see how much brighter it is when you look at this part of the photo. With that said, I do think the colors and the shadows do look a bit more natural, a bit more realistic on the Galaxy S24, but in this photo, they are pretty close. Now, this photo is a challenging one because of that bright light right there in the middle of the photo. This is a brand new light that they've just put up and is now ruining one of my favorite photos to take in these camera comparisons. And it causes huge problems for lenses if they don't have good coatings. And you can see actually both phones have delivered a photo with a considerable amount of lens flare. But I do think the S24 is handling that bright light just a little bit better. But I must say it does seem to be quite green in hue which does look pretty cool. And the A55 has kind of gone the other way. It's certainly leaning into the warmer tones and that actually might have delivered a more pleasing picture, even though it might not be quite as accurate. Let me know what you think about this one. Okay, so here's me and the Phantom Menace on the way home. And I'll let you be the judge of these last two. And you know, if you're trying to decide between these two phones, the Galaxy A55 and the S24, there's lots to think about. You've got to think about how much money you'd be saving on the Galaxy A55, but you've also got to think about what you get for the money with the Samsung Galaxy S24. And hopefully this cinematic masterpiece has illuminated your path in regards to deciding which one might be the perfect smartphone for you, or at least given you a laugh at my pathetic attempts to disguise my terrible photography skills with voiceover. <laughs> Either way, I hope it's helped. But the reality is, if you're still on the fence and you're not sure about these two phones, which one could be better for you, you really should consider the important hardware differences between these two devices. And as it happens, I did make a video all about that and that's on the screen right now. So you can go check that out. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to leave a comment, thumbs up. And if you just subscribed, I will see you in the next one. Don't be late.